we have now arrived at the famous number one cafe so if you don't know this cafe was the main cafe that they shot and used for top boy if you need food come to me so you think i'm here to get your permission to shop food you're here to get mine so we in the mandem pendum we are in it they normally go in there right to just discuss business about the peas and the food we going in there as customers to see if the food and tea and coffee, whatever they were going in for, is actually really good because the Shane and Sully, they were always there. This was their spot. So I'm here to review the food and let you guys know if it's really top food. I'm not dealing with a mandem no more. Here I have the top boy breakfast platter. I asked the owner, what do I get? And he was like, get the top boy breakfast because you're a top boy. I was like, whatever that means. And I just ordered it, right? I, I listened to him. Then my friend got the mushroom omelet. And as for my Bev, I got some tea in it. You know, I was eating this basically for brunch. And before coming into this, I had a little bit of hummus. So I was hungry. And on the wall, I noticed as I was eating, they had a portrait shot of Ashley Walters, who was the Shane and top boy. And it was signed. So I'm assuming this is like a family business here. Yes. Uh, how long have you guys been running this cafe? Twenty five years. Now. This has been twenty five years. Family. Start here, me and my dad, then me and my uncle. Start. Wow. Two, two, wow. Two sons. Two sons. Family business. I respect that a lot. I mean, what's your guys' like, ethnic background then, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, like, Original Turkish. Oh, Turkish. Turkish. You got the Turkish. Yeah. Mom, dad, Turkish. Mm -hmm. I was born and raised here. And everything here is always like made homemade. I had the top boy, the top yeah, boy yeah, platter. Yeah, yeah, everything's homemade. Yeah, 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 yeah. homemade. Because normally I don't even like beans or mushrooms, but I finished the whole plate. Thank it you. felt Thank very you. homey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy, yeah. Finished the whole thing. Yeah. Maybe the one piece of bread I didn't because I was full, but everything else I finished it. And speaking about top boy, how did that come about with this cafe? So uh, originally when it was on Channel Four, yes, they started doing it then. Mm -hmm. We had the counter this way. Yeah. Back then, that was what, 10 years ago. And ever since that time, they've just been coming back. Really? Yeah. How does that work? They just come at night time to record like they, when, it's, when it's closed? They, they phone up, Yeah. they arrange an agreement, mm -hmm. and it goes on from there. Oh, okay. That's, that's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. No, there's no coming night time. It's go close for customers. The cab's closed for three days. Are you guys here when they're recording that? Or is that... Uh, we're, so we're not in the cab. <laughs> we was outside, across the road, yeah. with the crew watching. Like wow. Uh, you guys have anything you guys want to say? No, share them today. Number one calf. Okay, Instagram, number one calf. Thank you. I, I appreciate Cheers. it. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's a family owned business. They passed it down. Gotta respect that. I gotta love that. I gotta show family owned businesses and restaurants, you know, love, you know. And it was genuinely good. It was hearty. I wouldn't say it's like the most, like, wow, Michelin star, you know, food or anything, but it is good and it is homey food. Like, as you guys saw, I cleared my whole plate. I was telling them, I don't like mushrooms. I don't like beans. I crushed all of it. When you're in there, like you feel like, I felt like I had to eat fast and I was looking for my ops the whole time when I was eating. That's the type of energy you just, you just feel it. Like it's just everything, the hues just go down. Everything feels darker in there. But like in a good, cool way. The food, if I could give it on a, on a scale out of 10 for the price, 8.5 out of 10, which I feel like is solid. I feel like that's great. Um, it's an 8.5 out of 10, great customer service. The experience was pleasant once again. And if you're a fan of the show, it's worth a visit. It's cool. It's a cool experience. It's, it's, it's fun. The whole time I've been here, I always hear that it rains a lot here in the UK or in London. It's only rained on me like two, two times out of the 14 days. Right behind me, guys, is the London Bridge. That five guys might have the best view of all five guys that I've ever seen. Because you have the glass and then you got the great view right here and everything with the bridge. The old vibes that it has, the ancient vibes the grand vibes the proper vibes vibes um it's really vibing the vibes are really vibing i need to go through more words and expand my my vocabulary so i can do a better job of describing everything look at the statue right here near the london bridge that you can sit at it's funny i'm not gonna wait in this line because i'm too lazy to wait in this line isn't that funny huh I'm, i was thinking about it you just hop on the middle with the statues that's hilarious the first thing i thought about when i saw this bridge was london bridge is falling down falling down falling down. I looked it up. According to Google, fires broke out in 1633 and 1666, which damaged and weakened the bridge, but it never actually fell down. It never did. So therefore, that nursery rhyme is actually propaganda. We are now on the actual London Bridge. It's sturdy. It's sturdy. A lot of people, a lot of tourists, a lot of crime. 
ambulance and shit going on. It's hectic out here in the Mendham. It's hectic. You gotta be prepared out here. You never know who you're gonna run into. Show them the, the BMW. That's the uh, that's the feds. They driving Beamers. Cause in America it's just Fords and shit. Right now I am about to eat some fish and chips. We out here in London. It's only right that I do the touristy shit and I get some good fish and chips. So we are at the Borough Market. I don't know if this is a famous spot or not, but um, are you guys gonna tag along with me? And shit, we'll see if it's worth the time, worthwhile or not. Right now we are at Fish Kitchen. Apparently they got the National Fish and Chips Award. I've been eating a lot of chips fries for the Americans lately, but fuck it. Well, while we're out here, we gotta eat this. It's only right. It's very touristy of me, but like, this is my first time having fish and chips here, so I'm excited. If you want the best, try Hollywood. That's, that's the best one? Don't be, don't be. I give you a little bit. Is that your favorite? Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, I'll do halibut now. I asked him what's the best one. He said the halibut, and it was the most expensive one. Sometimes when people recommend the most expensive one, I'm a little hesitant, but he, he insisted that that was the best one here, so I went with it. It's like 18 pounds. And look at all the different types of fish. The homemade tartar sauce or the mayo was like another two pounds. I'm like, I need some free sauce. Everybody's charging for sauce nowadays. I'm going to make a whole skit about that. What they charge for sauce. We have the halibut with the chips with the homemade. So these are the chips. They're pretty good. I, I think I would rather have five guys fries over these, but nevertheless, still pretty decent chips. He insisted that I get this tartar sauce mayo for like two pounds. He insisted it. So here's the fish, the halibut. I'm going to dip it in. This is my second time ever having fish and chips in general. The first time I ever had fish and chips was in the US. It was at a Gordon Ramsay franchise. It was like Gordon Ramsay's fair, fish and chips. Fair. When I went to the Gordon Ramsay spot, that shit was ass. Respectfully. It was like the same price as this, it was ass. But here, the 18 pounds, it was very worth it. Oh, um, the fish is very tender, this is halibut. I believe he said the cod was more tender. I'm like a food enthusiast all of a sudden. I know you guys used to see me in character. Right now, I'm serious right now. When it comes to food, I don't play. I'll give it like a nine out of 10, really.